What's up guys, Major Jinch here, and in this video I'm going to be pitting two internet radio sensations against each other in Last.fm and Pandora. Just some background on these two websites. Basically, they use algorithms to take your favorite artists and basically recommend different artists that go in the same category. So basically, as you can see here, music recommended by Last.fm. They're recommending Poison because it's similar to Warrant, Skid Row, and Guns N' Roses, which are some bands that I added in. And both have slightly different algorithms. And just right off the bat, I'm just going to say, I kind of enjoy Last.fm's algorithms a little better, if that makes sense. Because I feel that when I search an artist and start a radio station, I like the music it comes up with better than Pandora. Not putting down Pandora, this is a great little website right here too, internet radio, but I just like the way Last.fm does it better. So in this video I'm going to get a little bit more in depth to the pros and cons of each independent radio station, well radio, internet radio, sorry, and I'm also going to be going over some of the similarities, and in the end just telling you which one I believe should be your primary source for radio listening. So first I'm going to start off with Last.fm, and as you can tell this is probably, well it is, opinionated, but I enjoy the interface of Last.fm a lot better than Pandora. Everything's just spread out, so as you can see up here, there are tabs for music, radio events, etc. And everything you need is just right here, music recommended, everything. Now when you go into Pandora, you have to go digging through some menus to try to find what you want. So if I wanted to find a song, I'd have to go to the about music, and everything's just clunky this way. Like down here, there's a little slide out menu. It's just clunky. I know what they're trying to do here. They're trying to get everything on one page. So you open, you have to open less windows and such. But this is just much simpler and better for the everyday user. All right, so I'm going to get started with showing you as well as the artist pages. So this is the song page right here for Poker Face. Lady Gaga song, very popular. You probably know what it is. And here it is playing in the mini player on the side. And also, Last.fm allows you to upload YouTube videos of possibly the music video. It allows its users to do this, which is very cool. Because if for some reason the song is not on Last.fm, you can usually find a YouTube video for it. And then down here is the related tracks for this song. So Love Game, Paparazzi, albums featuring this track. And then right from here, you can buy it from iTunes, Amazon, eBay... Very cool. Down here is Shouts, which is basically comments on the song. This is also available on the radio page, which I'm going to show you a little later. On the right here is Recent Activity. People who may tag it and such. It'll show up right over here. Related Journals. Now, Journals is a pretty cool feature that allows users to... It's almost like a blog inside the website. And they can basically talk about their favorite songs and such. And make it available for the world to see. Listeners, who's listening now, who's listened to it a lot. Ads, obviously. And then also up here, you could tag the song. You could share it. Email, Facebook, stuff like that. And then in the more, you can love this track, which I'm going to also get in when I talk more about the radio. Add tags, which I talked about earlier. Add to playlist, which this basically allows you to make a playlist such as what you can make in your favorite clients such as iTunes or Windows uh, Windows Media Player. So, yeah. Over here is more options as before to buy it. You can also buy a ringtone. Now, this is not available on Pandora. On Pandora, you can share the song via Twitter, Facebook, email it, or you can even gift it or make a station for a friend. Same thing. And you can also buy the song by going to the menu, the buy tab, buy from iTunes, Amazon, Amazon MP3. So both have similar functionality, but you're not going to be able to buy ringtones off of Pandora. So going back to last.fm, all your tabs, which you will also find on Pandora, are located to the left, which as I said before, makes the interface much simpler and easier to understand. So I can also travel to the artist page. Just let this load up. Okay. 
And here's Lady Gaga's page. So right here is the description of Lady Gaga. So her name is Stefani, Joanne, Angelina, Jerome, Nada, and I actually never knew that. And here is her full biography, and you can read more, or you can edit, which is kind of like a Wikipedia type feature. Here are videos for popular songs, feature tracks, and if you click play, it'll play in the little mini player that I showed you before on the side. A similar artist to her, her top albums as on her song page, her top tracks as in most played across the site. You can check this by week or the last six months. Her shout box, comments on her. And that's basically it for her. Also up here, you'll notice for some bands, they have an on tour label next to their name. And by clicking on this, brings you to an event page with their tour dates. So you can see if she's coming near you, or if it's a band, if they're coming near you, etc. So right here, Kanye West and Lady Gaga at HP Pavilion. Give me a shout out below if you're going to be there. It'd be pretty cool. In Pandora, you also have similar functions, except these are hidden on the side, which I don't really like. So mo mobile and home. The video series is kind of like concerts. Aerosmith talks about Aerosmith as in the same thing as Last.fm. Now, one thing that Last.fm does not have, or at least I don't think so, let me just, oh, let me just make sure, is an album feature, which talks about the album itself, but I don't know why this wouldn't have it, so let me just check. Alright, if I click on The Fame by Lady Gaga. Alright, it does have a description, just like Pandora, so I'm sorry about that. It actually does. Alright, so in this last part of my video, I'm going to get into the main feature of both Last.fm and Pandora, and that is the radio feature. So as you can see, this is the radio page for Last.fm, and basically just a little interface walkthrough. This is your main player right here, and it includes a slideshow of pictures that are added by fans. One thing which Pandora does not have which I think is a nice little touch. You also have options to stop the slideshow, just like I did right there, and to turn on or off groveling, which I'm going to tell you a little about later. Down here is about the band, and you can read more, which will open a separate window or tab. Similar artists to the band. From the album, which you should also buy from here. Your library, which I'm going to get into, and events like tour dates for the band. You can also share and tap the track. Now, as the song changes here to the spring, Steam, you'll see the bottom will start to buffer and will change to the band page, which is a very cool feature. Which is also similar on Pandora. Now, on Pan back to Pandora, one thing which is great, which I wish Last.fm would include, is the ability to look up the lyrics for the song right there. Now, for some reason, Living on a Prayer does not have the lyrics available. So this is where it gets a little, like, blotchy and spotty, I guess you could say. Where some songs, very popular songs, like Living on a Prayer, one of the top 80 songs of all times, of all time, sorry, doesn't have lyrics available. Which doesn't really make sense to me. Just like Last I Found page, it has a limited fan interface such as here are a few Pandora listeners that enjoy Bon Jovi. So here are some people listening to Bon Jovi right now. Which, it doesn't go as in-depth as Last.fm does, but it's still, they're still trying. So to the right here is are my stations. So my library, which I'm going to get a little bit into in a little bit. Your neighborhood, which I'm not entirely sure what that is to tell you the truth. Your recommended radio, which is... Which are songs recommended on what artists you provide Last.fm with. As well as your playlists. In the end, I enjoy Last.fm better than Pandora. Both give you the option for bookmarking songs for later playback. But Last.fm also gives you the option to add songs to your library slash playlist for later playback. Both have Android apps and iPhone apps. While Pandora only also has a WebOS app. And last.fm has Xbox Live integration. Thank you, this is Major Jones signing out.